Okay, the second basic integral problem we're going to do today is 3x to the 4 plus 5x minus 6 dx. Okay, again we can take this term by term. Um, so we're going to start with this term. We're going to write the x down here. The first thing we do is add 1 to the exponent. 4 plus 1 is 5, so the new exponent is 5. And then we're going to divide the coefficient by the new exponent. So 3 over 5. And that's the integral of that term. We know that that's true because if we were going to take the derivative of this term, what would we do? We would multiply the exponent by the coefficient. So we'd have 3 over 5 times 5 x, and then we would subtract 1 from the exponent, and we would get 4. Um, of course, these would cancel, and that would give us 3x to the fourth, which is this term up here. So we know that we took the antiderivative or the integral correctly, because if we reverse the process, we get the correct derivative up here. So um, we did that term. Now we're going to move on to this one, um, x again. Uh, the exponent up here is 1. We're going to add 1 to it, so it's 2. And then, of course, the coefficient divided by the new exponent, which is 2. And then finally, um, 6, the derivative of the, or sorry, the antiderivative or integral of 6 is 6x. Um, because again, we know if we took the derivative of um, 6x, we would just get 6, which is what's up here. Um, so any constant, um, if this were 2, the antiderivative would be 2x. Um, we always just know if we have a constant, we add um, the single variable to it here. And then, of course, as always, plus c to account for any potential constant that might have been involved in the original function. So this here is your answer.